Hey guys, Salido here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Minecraft Story Mode, episode 4. This is part 4 of episode 4 Below the Bedrock, where we are at the Romeo thing and we have to build something magnificent to scare away everyone. And I got a great idea. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna take the dope blocks. Oh, we're gonna take the dope blocks and we're just gonna build something, quote unquote, magnificent to scare away everyone. Check that out! Right there! Oh wow, that will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes, wonderfully horrifying. Alright. Organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering? Dude. This is sick. Oh, which one do I choose? This one here is calling me. Why? That one's just blank. Snaps and chats. Armor number seven. Feeling cute. Dented danger. Please don't hit me. Llama brownish. Goofball glory. The tooth chipper. Yeah, I like the dented danger. Oh, this is sick. Going to let some gladiatorial match here. Oh, good luck, oh, you poor doomed souls. That was a bit of a yawn there. Let's get moving. The cabin must be through that door. Three levers. I don't like that. It's gonna be a challenge. Those pressure plates release waterfalls upstairs. Yeah. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Here we go. Welcome! Oh. Designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most brilliant, death defying, heart pounding challenge you've ever experienced? I'm scared. Great. Another golem. This time made of magma. Ooh! Wow! What a showdown, folks! We're having the time of our lives, aren't we? Congratulations, challenges! Stage one of 600! <laughs> Complete! 
What? Stage two. And begin. There's no way we're making it to stage 600. Three levers got us into this, so. So maybe those three levers will stop it. Okay. Come on, radar. Let's bust that machine. Gotta love this music. Really sets the mood. Wah! Boop! <laughs> get, get wrecked, son. Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! Oh, bow strat! Here we go! Radar, don't make it worse. Come on, come on, come on! Why don't you come with the instructions? That was too close. Now, prepare yourselves for. This is bad. I see your smile. No one's <laughs> smiling. Now, now. I'm not a monster. There is a crafting table nearby. <laughs> this guy has a twisted way of playing with his friends. Maybe we can bring this one down with water, too. How do we even do this? Whoa! There's one arm. Okay, at least I know what I'm doing now. Oh, this is actually kind of difficult. Okay. Now what? Well, the thing's not a total dummy. Doesn't want anything to do with the waterfalls now, does it? I broke my pickaxe anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set. Right, good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready. Fire incoming! Thank God we got that gunpowder. Just need four sand blocks, quickly. Thank right you, here. Petra.
Good job, me. You done good. Take a look around. For Fred. Um. For Fred. Did Romeo do all this? Maybe he regretted it in the end. Yeah. How are your feet? Ah, better. Still a little crispy, though. Ow, ow, okay, that hurts. Rest up, Radar, you've earned it. and get out of here. Wow. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Tell someone you broke it. Uh-huh. Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. <sighs> Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing. It just reminds me of... Uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens. Come on, Petra, you're lying. We both know it. No! Puppies just make me really sad, okay? <sighs> Fine. It's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one just leaving. Not everyone leaves, Petra. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. Axel and Olivia are barely around. We already lost Jack. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. I know we've drifted apart, but there's still time to fix it. I know I can do more to keep everyone together. I want to believe you, but you can't just fix everything. I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Yeah, okay. Something's not right here. I agree. The beds don't go with the banners? Oh, 
All right, here's what we're gonna do. Blue is book. So, blue is book. Blue for Fred. That did something. One down, now the rest of these need to go in the right order. Sword for Romeo, very fitting. Red for Romeo. Purple for Zara. Purple for Zara. Mm -hmm. Another one of Fred's journals. Dear Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato451. <laughs> potato? That's the weapon? What are, what, what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable, and not a very good one. I, oh, I hate potatoes. I don't care how silly it sounds. As I think it's a it name. Works. Yeah, I guess. Just potato. Or, sorry, I meant hashtag potato four five one. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and huh. end this. So it's like a password. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. Kind of feel bad for them, don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. About how I need to figure things out for myself. And I think, I think that's out there, not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I, more than anyone else, you've been there. And I, I don't want to leave if it means. I'll be right there with you, Petra. You think your place is out there, then so is mine. Yeah, I'll go with her. Thank you. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the ad. Are these two like a thing? These days of being Jesse are over. Anyway, we're going to end this episode here. If you guys want to see more, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.